Oh, look at this big beast, man. Happy Thanksgiving, Slayman. Hey, thank you. I'm thankful for you and the Jackery. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Thanksgiving special video. Uh, first of all, Sam and I just want to say happy Thanksgiving to you guys and your loved ones. We hope you guys have a wonderful day. And we also wanted to let you know before this video starts, well, well, first of all, the video you guys are about to watch is a video of uh, some craziness happening on some early ice, all right? Catch my biggest walleye, so stay tuned for it. And secondly, before we go into the video, I just wanted to let you guys know that Jackery is having a huge Black Friday sale and Cyber Monday. From now until Monday, there are discounts up to $1,080 on select products. So click the link down below and make sure to check it out. Now, they just sent Sam and I a new Jackery 1000. So right here, this is the All Explorer 1000. And as you guys can see, it looks like a beast. It's got a nice little carrying handle right there. It's got a flashlight to see what Daisy's doing. And then this is where you charge it. There's another thing right here as well. You got a USB-C, USB, one of these guys, a little carport thingy, and uh, we got three nice little plugins. Super simple, and it's great to use for going off the grid, whether you're taking it hunting, camping, or ice camping, or fishing. This thing is an absolute workhorse, and uh, are you excited to use it? Yes, sir, I am very excited. If you guys decide to order something from now until Monday, you guys are gonna be automatically entered to have a chance to win the Jackery travel trailer. Jackery is also having a live stream on the 28th and you guys could have a chance to win prizes up to $250,000 worth of stuff. So you guys have to make sure you guys check out the live stream and check out all the discounts because this is a great time to get a Christmas gift for somebody that you love. So, huge shout out to Jackery again for helping us out in today's video. And uh, with all of that being said, we're gonna roll the footage from our little ice adventure the other day with Dustin. So enjoy the footage and I'll see you guys after the video. Is it going everybody and welcome back to the channel as you guys can tell I'm on some ice set up the old hub for the first time uh, I'm with Dustin you guys saw him in the last video and we actually found a lake with about five inches of solid ice it's looking super good um, the winds here have been just blowing relentlessly and it blew all of the snow off this lake so it's been really nice walking around it's been very easy for foot travel but yeah, today we just got set up. It is 4.27 p.m. in the evening. And we're gonna see if we can do a little bit of fishing. We're gonna see if we can catch some walleyes or perch or northern or whatever else is in this lake. And uh, we got some tip-ups set out right now. And I'm gonna be doing some jigging in the house. So yeah, I mean, drop a comment down below. Let us know if you guys haven't enjoyed the footage lately of ice fishing. Uh, I know it's it's very new uh, right now because obviously there's not much ice anywhere and uh, we've only posted like three videos. But let us know what you guys have thought about the video so far. Uh, as far as this video goes, we're just gonna try to get uh, as much fish catches on film for you guys as possible. Uh, gonna switch up the camera angles and hopefully you guys enjoy that. But yeah, it's gonna be a little bit of hole hopping. I might do a little bit of fishing in here as well So you guys just stay tuned and hopefully we can get on them Hey Oh, you won't get that one good luck brother. We just had two flags pop up I'm gonna see if there's anyone on this one and Dustin's gonna check the other one Maybe there'll be a fish on one of these. 
but I don't see this line doing nothing. Oh, good. All right, we're just gonna go for a check here, boys. And we tight. Ooh, feels kind of squirmy. First fish of the evening for me. Hey, why are you so small? Well, hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Four Inch Walleye channel. That's me, call me Aaron Weeb. Well, first little Walter of the trip. Just an absolute hog. It probably looks big if I hold it close to the camera like this, but I'll see you when you get freaking 10,000 inches bigger. Yeah. Well, we had a couple flags there and uh, we managed to get one so far, just a small guy. Uh, I'm gonna be using the 36 inch light Royal Flush. This is pretty much like the Swiss Army knife of frostbite rods. You can pretty much buy this and use it for anything from panfish to big old whale eyes. But on there, I got a little dinner bell. It's a golden green one with a little orange blade and uh, tip with the minnow head. But we're gonna see if I can get any of these fish to be interested in the old dinner belt tonight. You guys stay tuned. If we can get a good jigging bite, I'd be pretty happy about that. Hey, why do we have so many little fish tonight? Don't even know what to say, boys. Don't even know what to say. Just a itty bitty guy. Well, it is teeming with life down there. Just a lot of small ones. Like, I mean a lot of small ones. Just go back down there and there's probably like six on me. Six small walleyes it looks like. Where the heck are the bigger ones? Aggressive though, low key. Hmm. Yep, love that. Another little guy. Sad that that's the biggest mark that I've seen so far. Hey, does he want that dinner bell? Watch this. You ain't them. I'm mad. Oh, oh, he's mad. Oh, oh, you're still mad. Oh, I love these little fish. Oh. <sighs> Let me get this little thing. This man. video is going to turn into who can catch the biggest seven incher. Hey, I got a question. Where are all the big fish? I don't know. It's really starting to irk me. Here comes a giant. Like, actually, we're going to see a 14 inch mark, and, uh, like 14 incher, and it's going to look just massive. Oh, like, like that. that. Oh, oh. Here comes the herd. Here we go, bud. He, oh, 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 okay, that's, that's a school. It's gotta what be. Oh, frick. Oh, we, we get bit here, right? That's that's big. Is that one fish? Uh, two, that's two fish. Oh. No shot. <laughs> okay, those were not 14 inches. They were cruising. They, they were, but oh my god. You know, it's good to see such a strong gear class. You know, if you want to look at it that way, yeah. I'll go check on those things. The only positive way to look at it. True. How many little fish do you think we have right now? 
every single one of them. John, quit, quit making noise is a decent mark. There's like a pretty solid fish there. A lot bigger than what we've been catching. Like an 18, 19 inch walleye. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. I guess the next spot. Oh. Yeah, chase out them small ones and come back here. There he is. He's large and in charge. Oh, he's gonna. What's going on? What's been an online? That's a better one. that I got into them. That's a better fish though. Yeah. <laughs> oh boy. Just gotta keep her calm. Keep her calm. Oh my god, he's running at me. Jeez. Oh, That's, That's big. God dang, dude, chill. That's big, John. Yeah. Oh my god. Play it slow with the yeah, hole. Yeah, I'm a player slow. Oh my god, dude. He's just doing whatever he wants right now. I'm just praying I have a good hook into him. It's so cool, you can see him under the ice. Yeah. It's like as soon as I set the hook, like it's just, oof. Bad day to not have a bump board, I tell you that right now. Oh boy. He looks pretty big. Oh yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Dustin. Look at where your hook is. Oh, that's the biggest wall I've ever caught, Look at dude. Where your hook is. Oh my god, it's on the outside. Dude, yeah. that's that's the biggest hook I've ever caught, boys. The biggest hook you've ever caught. Uh, the biggest fish I've ever caught. No. Look at that's 30. Belly. That's, dude, does that do you think that's 30, Dustin? That, oh that has to be 30. Look how thick that thing is. Oh my god. Look how thick dude. that thing is. Oh my god, dude! 
What? <laughs> That's so big, dude. Thanks, bro. Thanks for grabbing that, man. Yeah. Oh my god, this is the biggest wall. It's I've so ever heavy, caught. John. It's so oh. heavy. That's why you come out, boys, right there. That has to be pushing 30, man. Like, but just the, the gut on this fish is absolutely unreal. We do not have a bump board, unfortunately, but ah, this is a mega fish. This eyelet? Yeah, to the eyelet. So the, the last from, from the there. Second to last eyelet. Second to last eyelet from to the, the more of a thing. Yeah. Oh my God. Jeez Louise, dude. That's a stud. That's what's crazy God, to me, dude. It pays to stay. <laughs> dude, I did not expect that to happen. Dustin and I have been sitting here just like pretty much in silence, catching like, catchy, like seven inches. And then I, I potentially catch my biggest walleye ever. Don't have a bump board. Uh, we just measured it on a frostbite rod. And, uh,. I'm going to have to measure that when I get home, but just an absolute beast of a fish. I'm, I'm keeping its head in the water right now and the gills in there. Just uh, keep this bad boy healthy, but we're going to try to get some pictures here and then, uh, yeah, get a release on him. Sorry I didn't show you guys the fish one more time. I think you guys got a pretty good look that first time around, but. Whew. Huge shout to Dustin for grabbing that fish. And like I was saying guys, like this whole day has just been dink, stink, dink, dink, dink. Dustin caught that decent one. And then uh, we saw a better mark come in. And uh, <clears throat> it didn't look like a crazy big mark, honestly. Uh, he looked at Dustin. And then he, it was so cool on the live scope. He was like nose up on the dinner bell. Let me show you guys that dinner bell real quick that I was using. Just using that dinner bell. And that was the ticket for my biggest walleye of the year so far. Potentially the biggest walleye of uh, my life. But basically we measured, uh, well, on Dustin's rod from right here to the second to last eyelet was how big it was. So on Dustin's, it's like that from yeah, if you guys can see him, you guys can see him probably from there to there. And uh, when we get home, we're going to measure it. But wow, I'm kicking myself. I didn't actually have a bump board, but that's all right. We got some pictures, got an awesome release. I uh, got it on my phone, the release. And yeah, who knows? Maybe, maybe it'll pay to stay more. The next day. Is this what you want? Are you thankful for your Kong today? Right on, Daisy. Right on. What the dog doing? Hey, everybody always asks what the dog doing, but no one ever asks how the dog is doing. How you doing? You doing good? Well, Bubba, maybe one of these days I'll join the 30-inch club with you and Dustin and Sweary. But for right now, I'm going to stay in the 28 and a half inch club. Hey, I was in that club for a long time, brother. Right on. I got faith in you, though. You're going to break it this year. Well, everybody, it is a day later, and I'm back here in South Dakota with Samuel and my family for Thanksgiving. And I ended up going home and measuring that fish, well, measuring the rod length uh, that I was telling you guys. And it ended up being 28 and a half. So wasn't quite 30, but it was still an awesome fish to catch. That ties my PB length. Um, by far, that was the most heaviest walleye that I've ever caught. So that is technically my new longest. And well, it's, it's my new PB. We're just going to leave it at that. New PB, 28 and a half. Man, that was awesome. But the remaining of that night, we just sat there and continued to catch those tiny little guys. We're trying to stay a little bit later to see if we'd catch a bigger one, but it ended up not happening. But that's all right because it makes us want to go back out and catch an even bigger one the next time. 
So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, I tried to mix in a little bit of different camera angles with the underwater stuff and everything else. Um, I have a really cool video coming on Sunday that you guys are gonna have to stay forward to. Uh, it may have something to do with ice camping already. So stay tuned for that. Um, but I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos so far lately. And again, just want to wish you guys a uh, happy Thanksgiving. We're, Sam and I are very thankful for everybody on this channel. You guys literally made our dreams come true by letting Sam and I hunt and fish together for, for a living. So thank you guys very much and uh, have safe travels uh, throughout their holidays. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching and we'll catch you guys on the next one. See ya. See ya. What the, who's that?